Hey, so another little. Um, this is actually a case study myself. Um, I uh, had a traumatic shoulder issue some years ago on my left, um, and I've always been prone to a little bit of kind of ooh, uh, recurring tightness um, around that kind of pet minor, just pet region in general, that anterior shoulder on the on the left. Um, if I'm doing a lot of shoulder intensive stuff. And I found I was doing, while I was doing this, oh, I, I was supine at the time, but while I was doing the, um, you know, almost like a kind of wall, you know, floor angel type exercise, I kept getting a huge amount of stiffness um, uh, and sort of just symptoms, purely just tightness in that area when I got to about that 90 degree position. And I was doing, I did some, uh, you know, self release. Um, uh, I did some uh, stretching, that kind of stuff. Uh, I did some um, stability work posteriorly, um, and um, wasn't making much of a dent in it. And funny enough, I can't remember what clued me into it, but something that just made me realise. I thought, hang about, when I get to this point, um, I'm almost in that kind of like upper limb tension test one position. Uh, you know, with that biased um, uh, stretch on the median nerve. So uh, I just sort of went with it, with that theory for a second. And I started doing um, some pretty just basic, while well, I was on the on the floor, uh, on the roller, full length foam roll on the floor, started doing some median nerve um, sliders. So uh, what was I doing? So I was basically, um, doing ipsilateral side flexion as I brought, um, as I extended out distally. That lighting is really pissing me off. <laughs> there we go. I'm just not gonna win today, am I? Okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah. It was out side flexion while I extended, and then contralateral side flexion. I can't remember. If I was just doing the just doing the wrist or doing the elbow flexion as well, but whatever. Um, in any case, I I did that uh, probably for about twenty reps or so, and um, it felt great. So just bear in mind. I think it's easy if you just um, at the time you, know, you feel tension there, and it's easy to kind of get caught up in thinking on oh, what soft tissues. And you kind of have just the soft tissue blinkers on. Um, whereas think about in a position, what what could be tensioned, what could be tight and restricted, aside from uh, purely soft tissue. So keep your mind open uh, to uh, any of those and uh, any of those uh, um, uh, particular or potential, I should say, uh, structures that could be involved.